Hey, what's up and welcome back everyone. This is Don and you're watching VR Gamer Dude or today should I say AR Gamer Dude because we are going to be taking a look at a couple of newer releases for the in real light glasses. Now, we all know it's been kind of slow in the VR side of things. I mean, not many huge releases. So I decided to dust off my in real glasses and see what's out there. Put out a little uh, uh, message to developers who might have recording capabilities in their apps, and I got a couple of responses, and man, I'm glad I did, because today we're going to be taking a look at two really cool AR apps that I'm having a lot of fun playing around with. So the first one is Table Trenches. It's a nice little RTS. You can map it. You can make it big. You can make it small. Put it on a table. Put it on the floor. Pretty cool. So I'm going to show you a little bit about that one. The next one is like a crazy sandbox that you just get to play with all sorts of stuff that just released last week onto the Google Play Store called Figman XR. And I, I really want to thank Javier, the developer of that, for sending me a key. This one, I have been having a ton of fun just playing around with all the different models and placing them everywhere. So let's jump into the glasses and let's show you guys a little bit of augmented reality. Alright, so here we are. We are back in the Nebula UI and the Unreal Glasses. And like I said, I, I you know, I've actually started to fill out on some demo apps here. There are more and more coming, it seems like every month. But uh, today we are going to look at two. We are going to look at table trenches for Unreal, and we're going to look at the newly released Figment XR. So let's go ahead and start out by taking a look at table trenches. All right, so here we are. We are in table trenches. So first thing we need to do is scan to find a playable area. Like I said, if you have in real glasses, you're just kind of bored at work. You can throw it right on your desk and, and like make it really small. But for the purposes of today's video, I'm going to spread it out here on the floor of the studio. So we'll go ahead and start kind of walking around here and kind of mapping the floor. And there we go. You can see that the uh, the table top grid has appeared right there on my floor perfectly matted to the floor. So, uh, you know, there are a couple things you can do. You can resize and move it, but for now, I think that looks Welcome good, and we trenches. will uh, create the battlefield here so I can walk around it. So, you got battle, you got versus mode. Looks like there's a little online component. Intel, uh, your configuration, which is pretty much just your uh, uh, sound effects and music on off uh, the tutorial. Uh, I, you know, for the purpose of this, I suck at RTS games, but we're going to go ahead and just uh, get my butt kicked right here. Now, one thing that is interesting, and I will throw it out there, but I still find it easier to control with the phone is, Unreal just got hand tracking support, guys. So this is the first app I have found with the hand tracking built in. And you can see we can switch to that, and now I can actually control the laser pointer with my hands. I, I do still think it's a little early for hand tracking here on the Unreal glasses. So uh, for now, we're just going to go ahead and use the phone controller. So all right, let's get in there, and let's do a little battle here in table trenches. That way I can hear it. Okay, so uh, let's see here. We'll battle Asher. How's that? Asher versus Sonya. No, we're Asher. Sorry. Mission All right, here we start. go. All right, got to build up some stuff. Get all my bases producing something. Come on. Come on. There we go. Come on, timer. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Never won a battle in this game. So, walking around, I mean, the one thing I will tell you, tracking is still a Challenge little capture. jittery in the Unreal, uh, but I don't know, man, it's good enough. I mean, if I was Challenge just sitting capture. at my desk, I obviously I wouldn't be walking around here and it wouldn't be as jittery, uh, but you can see I can completely walk around the battlefield. I can get down in it. I can kind of see what these guys are doing. Oh, oh, hey, get him, get him, get him, boys. Uh, oh yeah, let's get that. Earlier I saw a mech in here. Alright, come on. Got an even 
some battle going. Oh, that timer's the bane of my existence. And I suck at RTS games, guys, I'm not gonna lie, so don't expect me to be good at anything like this. Especially in AR. One little guy. Oh, I thought he was going to make it. Your sacrifice will be well noted, little Jeep guy. Tower destroyed. Tower destroyed. Mine or theirs? Oh, no, not mine. Sweet. We've got two minutes. I like how the UI turns to face me. So very cool. Where should I get capture towers? Oh, we're losing. We're losing. Click a tower, click what you want it to build. I mean, you know, standard, like, um, little RTS stuff here. Oh no, oh no. One minute. Sudden, Sudden death. death. All right, here we go. Means it's getting faster. We gotta go, we gotta go. Come on, guys. Build, build, you little some beaches. I wanna win. I'm not gonna win. Suck at these types of games, but we got a hell of a little battle going on here. Tower destroyed. Three, three. Oh no! Tower destroyed. No, twenty-five seconds. I ain't gonna pull it off, guys. I keep saying RTS, maybe I should say Tower Defense. Player two, oh, victorious. I was defeated. Oh well. Alright, so here we are in Figman XR, and you know, I gotta say, I love Table Trenches, guys. It's a fun little game, but this this is nuts okay this this i i have had just too much fun playing with all this stuff and you know getting models and trying to create my own little scenes so for the purposes of this video we're gonna do a quick overview i could literally spend two hours making a video on this with all of the different things that it allows you to do so for today, uh, we're just gonna, like I said, do a quick little overview. So right here in the menu, you can see we've got two different modes. We've got our play mode, which is simple to use and has limited features. And then we have our create mode, which has everything, uh, you know, everything is unlocked but you can't do hand physics or throwing now with the Unreal, there is no hand tracking in figment currently it, it is still uh, limited to i believe the hololens uh, release for this uh, where you're going to get the hand tracking and be able to do some of the stuff that you might have seen in the trailer uh, where the guys like bouncing the ball with the tennis racket and things like that but for today, like I said, we're, we're going to really primarily uh, just work in play mode. I'm not going to go into any of the creation tools, but you can make your own models. You can make your own uh, banners. I mean, you can do all sorts of stuff. So like I said, we will probably cover this in depth in its own video at some point down the road. So, all right. Um, in the play mode here, you know, pretty much it is that. It's, it's kind of a sandbox, man. We've got all sorts of different little scenes and 3D models that we can do. Uh, I've already downloaded a few really cool models like the, the Star Trek ships here that you guys may have seen in that little teaser that I put out. Uh, you've got discover mode here where you can, you can just tons of different 
little pieces of content here from Reddit. You've got some GIFs you can search through, videos. Like literally if I wanted to watch a, uh, let's say I wanted to watch a uh, YouTube video here. Oops, little touchy. And a little slow on the typing here, but that's okay. And there we go, VR Gamer Dude, and boom, there we go. And you can see there's all my videos, man. So let's say I wanted to see one of my Y'all VR videos here. So I can click on this and then I can take it and I can pin it in space where I want it. And there you have it. I mean, we are actually watching one of my videos here. And then I want, let's say I want to resize this guy. So I can do that and then boom, there we go. Bring it up to a little more of a cinema size here. And then let's go ahead and just move it out here and place it in space. Let's put it right there on my theater screen <laughs> that you guys can hopefully see through the glasses here. So, uh, you know, I'm telling you, this is nuts, guys. I mean, videos, models that you can play with, animated GIFs, and, and not just that. I mean, there are also fully fleshed out stuff that you can play with here. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way here and remove it. So let's say we want to go into the scenes here. Now this is where it starts getting interesting. So you've got some like little actual animated scenes that you can interact with here. So we've got the uh, the physics and gravity, which is the earth and the moon. I can kind of throw the moon at the earth, make the earth spin. Um, little alien planet scene. Uh, I thought this was great. The mini golf here. We will literally turn my studio floor into a mini golf course. I, I mean, you know, that is wild. Now, um, like I said, no hand tracking in the in real just uh, in the in real glasses just yet. Uh, that is still only in the in, in the Hololens. So I'm gonna kind of try to um, horrible. I uh, got to kind of try to do this, but you can see, I mean, we've got physics, we've got colliders. Uh, I mean, we can actually play some mini golf. Now, not the easiest thing to do with your phone here, obviously, but you guys get the gist of it. I mean, this is a fully realized augmented reality application. So we'll go ahead and remove that. Um, let's go ahead and load up another sample here. Um, let's do something practical here, like a shoe store, you know? Now, obviously this isn't photorealistic shoes or anything like that, but here we are, we're at Super Shoes, man, and we got 40% off and, you know, um, all of this was created in this app. I mean, and, and you know, it's, it's actually meant to kind of show you some physics here so I can literally drop the shoe and boom, there it goes. It just like falls over my floor. I mean, this is nuts. We are finally starting to see some cool augmented reality stuff hitting the markets. And y you can grab this on Google Play Store right now, guys. If you have a HoloLens, if you have an InReal, uh, if you have the InReal light glasses. And it is also coming soon to another augmented reality tabletop. Uh, hardware that I am super, super excited for, and that's Tilt 5. Uh, I've been I've been tracking Jerry's uh, progress on Tilt 5 for years, and I cannot wait until it releases, hoping to get a look at that once it finally comes out. So I, I guess for today, guys, we will go ahead and uh, cap it here. So I'm going to come out and give you guys uh, a few final thoughts. All right, so I got to say, both of those apps were really cool. I, I, I love the fact that we are finally starting to see fully realized apps in augmented reality. So you, you guys know it's still early for this kind of stuff. I mean, we, we've had HoloLens for a while, and they do have some pretty cool apps on HoloLens even, but so far, not anything really 
like I said, fully realized. It's, it's all a bunch of tech demos. And, you know, I kind of equate that to being early stages, early days. I mean, you know, if you think about VR, I'd say we are in the DK2 stage, uh, you know, of where VR was when we were starting to see all sorts of cool apps and all sorts of cool experimental ideas. And, you know, obviously we saw that here today. I mean, we got Table Trenches, fully realized little mini game that you can play. And then we got Figment, man. I mean, it's just all over the place, but it is so freaking cool, all the things that you can do. Like I said, I could spend hours just in that app showing you guys how to create stuff and how to import stuff. And maybe we'll do that in another video uh, if I get some time here pretty soon. But for today, I, I do want to thank DB Creations for sending me a copy of Table Trenches. I want to thank Javier Davalos for sending me a copy of Figman XR. I am going to throw links for both in the description if you have an in real light. Uh, currently not available in the United States, but available other places in the world. I highly recommend checking out these apps and you know shameless ask developers if you have apps that are ready to go for the in real light glasses uh, and you want to see them featured please hit me up. Now with one caveat make sure you have the recording capability built into your app because I ain't ever holding the camera up behind the lenses again. I, that hurt my hand. But for me I guess that's going to do it today, guys. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video if you did. And uh, if this was your first time coming by, you know what to do. I don't even have to ask. Just smash subscribe, ring that bell. That way you get notified the next time I do something cool in augmented or virtual reality. But for me, I'm done. I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Don signing off.